I am here in front of 1618 East Hernandez Street here in the heart of East Hill. Uh, looking at this house, uh, I'm sitting on a double lot. It's uh, two houses off the corner of 17th and Hernandez. So 17th though one of the main thoroughfares through, uh, through East Hill. So, but you are protected uh, off of a double lot uh, from that intersection. This house just got done walking through, so I'm getting ready to take you on a tour. This is an exceptional house. Uh, I haven't seen too many like this in East Hill. Um, sitting on a double lot, and there's a lot of really, really cool features to it. Everything was very nicely done. If you recall, showed you this house last week, 1612. They're still doing some work on that back area. Um, but wanted to kind of back up and show you the, uh, the street view. You'll see some fruit trees out front, lots of flowers. There are fruit trees all over this property. And I'm gonna come take you in this front gate right here, but I wanted to show you the driveway. Driveway's awesome. It's uh, it's big enough, you could put a boat, an RV down the drive, no problem at all, have plenty of room. You got a fence right there to the right side. Uh, you'll see their garage and mother-in-law suite upstairs. Uh, their downstairs garage has a little half bath in it and then walking out to the pool. Mother-in-law suite, I believe, is 375 square feet with a full bath up there. Uh, it does need some work, but nothing drastic. The house has been completely going through here in the last year or two, and uh, they've taken really good care of it. And I would say this house, for East Hill, for what it is, I'm just going to call it exceptional. Uh, I think you'll see the quality and the uh, thought process throughout walking through the gate. It's got a lot of East Hill charm to it. Uh, that there was a lot of pride and ownership. You'll see coming in the front, there's not much of a front yard, but they've got some nice monkey grass separating. They took a lot of pride in their fruit trees, their flowers, hedges alongside of the, uh, the four foot fence over there, alongside the driveway. Coming over here, they had nice flower beds and even a garden. Everything's divvied out into whatever they were growing. I see peppers. I believe those are oranges there out front. That is some type of fruit tree. I don't know what it is. It's not bearing fruit. They've got even a fire pit out front, mulch across the whole front yard. And I'm gonna take you in the back door because that's the uh, door that they had an electronic lock on. So I, I'm not even gonna open the front door, uh, but uh, I'll take you in the back because I think that's a kind of unique thing. But I wanted to get a nice shot of the front porch. You've got half the front porch is open and half the front porch is closed in, or I shouldn't say closed in, it's covered. You'll see new siding all over the house. They've got new shakes up front. I think they did a really nice selection of, of colors on this house to, to keep that uh, East Hill feel and uniqueness to it. Following this path around right here, down the left side of the house, you can see they, they made this like their little garden oasis. A lot of pride and ownership in this house. Vinyl windows, everything's been trimmed out. Tankless gas water heater. We've got another fence leading to the backyard. I wanted to show you guys that, that they're adding on since uh, we were there about a week ago. Again, this house, five bedrooms, two baths. My understanding is this uh, all-in-one unit here needs some work, but they do have a new air conditioner here. See the backyard, Not a, it's a large backyard, but this smaller is the area that, that has grass on it. Got another greenhouse here. I'm reading that there's an electric chicken coop, but uh, anyways, we'll get to the backyard here in a little bit. I want you to see the house first and foremost. Uh, like I said, coming in the front door uh, was not an option because they had a, an electronic lock box on the front. This is out looking to the street, of course. Uh, so you got a nice wide driveway. You got some trees uh, on the left-hand side looking out towards the street. They've got this awesome back porch area with two doors. That door right there, the front one leads to the kitchen. And this leads back to like a back, I don't know if you'd call it a bedroom. It would be used as a, as a laundry room slash office, I'm assuming. Um, and there's a bedroom right there. So I'm gonna go in this door right here. Electrical panel there. 
And we are in this room back here. It is probably uh, 14 by 14 or so. You see the original wood doors. They've got their stackable laundry room, uh, or excuse me, stackable washer and dryer. There's no laundry tub around the corner, but these beautifully refinished hardwood floors are incredible. Uh, I'm a big fan of the, the color they chose on the walls. Updated fans. I believe these doors are newer style. They are newer style, and uh, I'm guessing those are new when they redid the laundry room. Uh, new sheetrock, texture throughout. Original door here. The only thing that I kind of thought was cool, and I hate using the term unique so much, but I did not see a hand railing on these steps. So we'll get to that here in a little bit. But coming through this back door off to your left, they've got this bathroom. Totally in style right now with having the hexagon floor and then the white subway tile surround. So this is a full bath. Pedestal sink, vanity light there, and then they have this little chandelier light as well. So they even, even though they redid this, they kept some of the original features of the house, like some of the venting from room to room. And that's all they do is they vent out to the hallway. And you can see that in this hallway right here, looking into the, the room with purple paint. This left rear bedroom, this is a little bit smaller. This room is probably 12 by 10 maybe, uh, or yeah, I'd say 12 by 10, 12 feet wide, 10 feet deep. It's got two large windows looking out the backyard, into the pool area, and then two off to the left that overlook that greenhouse that I mentioned. Decent sized closet. Coming down the hall, taking a left into the kitchen. Now they do use a newer hardwood floor here. I'm assuming this is an engineer because it's Florida. When I initially walked into this room, I came in that door right there and I had to flip the lights on. It was a little bit dark in here because we're in the afternoon, the shade's on the west side of the house. Uh, but they have under cabinet lighting. They've got a pendant light over the kitchen sink. So they got a higher end uh, solid surface countertop. This is a granite. I know this is not an A or B, this is not builder's grade. This is definitely upgraded uh, with the uh, subway, white subway tile backsplash. You see a nice cook, gas cooktop, it's GE, GE microwave up above, all new white shaker cabinets up above, GE refrigerator. I'll kind of give you the shot. So this is all, all the lights on are in, excuse me, all the lights are on in the kitchen right now. And then this door looks out to the back. Now we're going to the front room. I'm assuming this is the dining room, bright and yellow, full of uh, sunshine coming through those front windows. It does have two side windows there. And as you can see, these floors are immaculate. I'm guessing original floors from 1928. Again, walls have been refinished. They still got the, the big baseboard. And I'm not so sure all the walls have been redone because these I think are, are plastered. You can still see the plaster walls. They've got some character to them. One of the unique things that I always loved about these old homes is having the electrical. Now they did say they updated the electrical, but they kept the integrity of having the plugs in the baseboard, which it's personal preference, but in these older homes, I find them to be totally cool. Uh, and just, it's really expensive to do. So there's a lot of pride. You'll see there's crown molding in this. Now we're back in, or excuse me, left side of the house, left front side, this would be your family room. This room is probably 16 by 16, uh, maybe 14 by 14, somewhere in that area. There's the front door, two windows looking over the covered front porch. Kind of give you an idea back in the dining room that area so just scanning this area here so there's your family room you'll see crown molding big tall 10 by 10 or excuse me 10 inch baseboard 
I was pointing out, kind of lost track there. Sorry, guys. Walking in, bedroom number three, I guess, down the stairs would be the smaller bedroom right here. This is on the left middle portion of the home. You see again, crown molding, nice door. Okay, size closet. And one of the things I picked up on, I think it kind of has that East Hill charm. You'll see the original bedroom doors, old uh, two panel doors. This one, they obviously replaced and did an arch panel. And if you recall, those laundry room doors had a farmhouse style. So different mixture of doors, interior doors in the house. The average person's not gonna notice that. I notice that because all the bedroom doors match, but the closet doors in the bedrooms are a little bit different. Before I go, just to give you an idea, off to my right, right across from this bedroom here is the kitchen. Little storage underneath the uh, stairwell. Obviously they have an intake vent, probably for that uh, all-in-one HVAC unit outside. And now I'm gonna walk up the stairs. The stairs are fairly narrow. I'm guessing two and a half feet wide. And again, no hand railing. So walking right up to the top of the stairs. I did not see any lights in these rooms other than the little sconce lights. Probably make a cool office. Bamboo floors in here. Another little storage area right here. And it's hot in there, it's very hot in there. It's not insulated. Cool space. It is tight in here. I'm 6'2", so I've got right in the center portion right here, I've got about five inches of clearance and you'll see where they, they cut the doors down as well to fit. Another storage area, there's the sconce line I was telling you about. Kids would love this space. More attic access. I'm not gonna open all the doors, but uh, you'll see the top of the stairs, attic access, attic access, and more attic access. They do have a unique, uh, I guess they have uh, the skylight up here in the ceiling. Um, I'm curious why they didn't change it out if they re roofed it last year because I believe they have to be rated for uh, impact rated for code. Now I'm in the back bedroom upstairs. Now this was probably an addition at some point. You'll see they have the farmhouse barn style doors and they're using this as a master closet. It is pretty cool how they use this space. There's no light in here, so I apologize. Oh, maybe there is. Let me back up. It just got this little LED light on a switch here. So this I can tell is all new texture and sheetrock. See, there's that different style door up here and the barn doors to the closet to match. They've got a pocket door separating this master bath here. Nice size vanity with a built-in vessel sink, mirror. Nice window that lets some nice light into this uh, area coming in from the front. And then here's the master shower. So they've got an overhead rain head and then they've got a wand as well. They've got the penny size uh, white tile as your floor, white subway tile as your surround. There is a rain shower glass uh, that looks over the left side of the house. It's dark colored tile here, really cool. So now I'm gonna take you outside, kind of show you more of the backyard. That's the whole house. So one thing to add or highlight, they're saying it's five bedroom, two baths. Got it, found every room, no problem. Your master is upstairs in, the master, in that master bath. So downstairs, you only have this one full bath. In this house, I don't see it being a huge problem or issue simply because it's a great size full bath for this age of home and it's very conveniently located in the house because you've got your family room right there dining room kitchen bath 
And then you've got these back two rooms here as well. So a lot of space in this house. You're looking at 2,000 square feet in this house on the main home. So sitting on a double lot, just to give you an idea, a double lot, the lot alone in East Hill is probably worth 250,000 just because of the size. If it was just bare dirt. Back outside, of course, uh, looking at this nice parking area. Uh, you'll see the mother-in-law suite when we go up top, 375 square feet. They've got it set up over a nice bedroom. They have never used this as an Airbnb or an income producing property. They, I guess they moved out to the beach, never had an opportunity, but uh, they did a nice job with it and what they've got. It's an oversized single car garage. And this area is not bad back here, meaning the structure itself. The pool's in great condition. It's a new liner within the last couple of years. Nice pavers all the way around the uh, back side of the pool. And of course, they've got a concrete, uh, three foot concrete walkway around the pool itself. And I'm assuming this pool is about four and a half, five feet deep. So just a cool place to relax, chill out and cool off. You're not gonna go swimming. You're not gonna become Michael Phelps by hanging out in this pool. And I'm assuming this is their electric chicken coop that they noted. Another fruit tree here. You'll see palm trees. They did make a mention that there was a tree on the back fence that they needed to uh, pay attention to. So, hey, real quick, before we go upstairs, I'm gonna show you this garage. They, they still got stuff in here, including an old Mustang. I believe the uh, Mustang does not convey, but oversized single car garage. This ceiling in this garage is only about six foot six, maybe. So again, low clearance, but it's got a newer door on there. You can see where they put new sheetrock out here. Tiptoe around this. They've got a laundry tub out here, obviously a refrigerator. They've got projects galore. You can start to see some of the bones of this area here. This door, it's a smaller door, probably a two foot door that walks out to the pool area, but they do have, which is cool, uh, a sink and a toilet. So if you're using a pool, you're not dragging all everybody's wet bodies in the house. They can come right here and either change or use the restroom, whatever they need to do. Uh, and you can open this up. This would be a cool little project area. That door right there is an interior door, but it goes outside. So I'd probably change that out to a uh, six panel steel door, 250 bucks. You can do that. No problem. Looks like their electrical has been updated. That's probably the old panel there. And now I'm going to take you upstairs. You can see this patio. So if you did use this as an Airbnb, there's the tree that they were talking about that needs some attention, probably after the storm. It's the only damage that I saw them have and that they noted. So they've got to do something with the, these bricks. There's the mini split cooling upstairs. Rear fence. It's sad because that's, yeah, that tree needs to come down. Final siding. Stairs are, uh, appear to be in okay shape. White vinyl siding on this. So they, they did, if you recall, they did the front of this house the siding as the uh to match the, the rest of the house but the rest of the uh garage or mother-in-law suite up here is just white vinyl now i'm walking into the uh little airbnb or mother-in-law suite that they have you see they did a nice job <clears throat> excuse me with the paint keeping this area you can set up a nice tv here We've got a mini fridge in here. Windows, this one overlooks the pool. These two front overlook the back of the house. There's your mini split up there. They've got a queen size bed in here for reference. Nice size closet space. Let's see if you get a scan of that closet space. And then when I open up this door here, there is your full bath. It's got a vanity, vanity top. Again, this ceiling up here is only about six foot six inches, so it's a little shorter, but I'm six two, so I can take a shower there, no problem. I put everything high enough. 
toilet, nice tiled floor. And that is an overview of 1618 East Hernandez. One of the most unique properties I've ever looked at in East Hill. Uh, if I have an opinion to give you, it's, it's been on the market for one day. This house, because of the lot size, because of the pool, because of mother long suite and how great a care they took to the landscaping and the upgrades they did to the house, this house is gonna go fast in my opinion. I think it'll go really quick. Uh, so if it's something that, that interest you don't plan on watching it a whole while you're gonna have to make a decision on this one uh and if not no hey no big deal but i, I just want to give you my thoughts uh i think we're one of the first people to get in you can see there's another car that pulled in the driveway since i've been here there are people waiting to get in one after another so uh, i was told that uh, this is going to be a busy afternoon so i was able to sneak in here before anybody else but uh, i want to give you an overview and we can talk about it I'll upload this and send it your way. Talk to you soon.